welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video I'm going to show you three pens from Kurataki for brush calligraphy. Brush calligraphy is still very popular and there are so many pens on the market. Today I am going to show you three pens from Kurataki. So I'm going to start with this one. It's referred to as the number seven. Now when we're doing brush calligraphy it's the same as regular calligraphy. You want to be thin going up thick going down, thin, thick. So this one here is the number seven. So I'm going to write for you. Now I like this pen because it's a very firm tip. So when I'm doing my upstrokes, I can get that thinner line, but then I can put a lot of pressure on it for the down. So I really like this pen, the number seven. I think it is probably one of my favorites from Kurataki. So we're going to move to the number eight, and you'll see this brush here, it's a lot um, longer and softer. So this is more of like a water brush type nib. So you get that more painterly look with this nib. So it's completely different. So if this one you need a little bit more control for your thinner upstrokes, um, but it gives you a really thick painterly look. So that is the number eight. This third one is the number 55 and it is a dual nib. So the thin nib would be good for if you're writing say a letter or something, because it's very thin. So it allows you to get a smaller, so I could even write like, so if you were doing journaling or lettering or something, it's a very thin nib. The second one is the opposite, it's a very fat nib. So this allows you the very thick. So the good thing about the number 55 is you get the thick, the thick and the thin in one marker. So hopefully that will give you some idea of what the differences of these markers are um, if you've never used them. So the number seven, as a recap, is a nice thin marker with um, an easy to use nib. So if you're starting calligraphy, this is a really great pen because you can have a lot of control with it. The number eight is like your watercolor paints or brush markers. And then the number 55 gives you the super thin, great for doing journaling or writing letters, as well as the really thick tip. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye bye.